So glad you could join us for this edition of Media Champions. I'm your host, Mary Therese Griffin in Atlanta. Here on Daily Ad Brief, we like to bring in the subject matter experts that can walk you through this world of media, marketing, and storytelling. Everybody has a story, right? But do you know how to tell it? I have a lady here today that knows how to tell your story, and we're so excited to have her on the program. We've got Anna Boudinot, who is with Mustard and Moxie. Welcome to Media Champions. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. I love your company name, Mustard and Moxie. How did that happen? It is a story about taking the long way around and winding up in the correct destination, despite the uh, d- despite the the path that isn't straight. Um, I gave a lot of thought into what I wanted my agency to be called. I wanted us to. Uh, show our clients and potential clients that we were scrappy, that we had gumption, that we were filled with a team of very creative people. Um, We had uh, uniqueness to us because I had spent many years working on the client side. And so I sat down and wrote lists and lists of words and phrases that described all of those things that I just said and got absolutely nowhere. (laughs) And I was getting feedback from some friends of mine who worked in marketing. And and one of them said, well, why don't you make it more personal? What's your favorite flower? And I said, well, that doesn't help because my favorite flower is nasturtium. And few people know what that is, much less can pronounce it. But she Googled it. And the scientific family that nasturtiums are in is called mustards and allies. It's related to the mustard plant. Ah. And so I don't expect anyone to make the connection between flowers and mustard, but it was the, I think the word we were really looking for to show something a little different, something with a little kick. And then we went back to our list, our spreadsheets of words, and I pulled out Moxie, loved the alliteration and loved what it represented. And here I am. And I love the fact that you used a word that is rarely used today, and that's gumption. I love (laughs) gumption. I mean, and, and, mustard, you know, you, mustard and gumption didn't quite have the same ring, but <laughs> I right. do love that word as well. <laughs> no, but if that's part of your everyday, uh, if that's part of your uh, everyday vocabulary, good on you, because that's what this world of marketing and media needs. And when we're talking about storytelling, obviously we're talking about a brand and, and this is your, your expertise. When you are talking to a potential client, about their brand, how do you convince them that you have the right tools and the right know-how to show them this is what your brand is and, and this is this is how you should be promoting it? I see myself as not a person who is going to tell a brand how to tell their story. I'm the observer and the listener who is there to ask the right questions, get them talking, get them thinking about why they get up in the morning and go to this job every day, why they love what they do, why they're proud of their company, and understand that there is a true authentic story already there. And then it's my job as their storyteller and as their guide to pull that story out, examine the emotions behind it that where there may be potential for uh, connection with their target segments, and then help them understand um, and, and get more input from them to understand who are the people in their target segment, who are their audiences, how can we use their story to create emotional connection between the two and use marketing content to build that bridge. So for me, it's not so much of I'm the right gal for the job because I know how to do this, this, and this. For me, it's a matter of showing I am here to guide you. You have all the answers. Um, I am here to show you the potential um, and the power that lies within the story and the authenticity that already exists. Do you find that your, your clients have maybe aha moments when they're having this discussion with you about what their brand and their story really is? Because what you're describing to me, Anna, is, is you're kind of the queen of the reality check. Right. If I can, if I can label you that way, because maybe I love that title. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's yours. My gift to you. I, I just, I feel like that's, that's what you're doing because it, people, they, they maybe have the knowledge, but they don't know what they don't know. And you're helping them put the puzzle pieces together. Am I right? 
Absolutely. And there are a lot of aha moments, a lot of like light bulb going off over the head. And I, I live for that. That's when I feel very excited to be and very lucky to be doing the job that I do. Um, the, I think people who are, um, entrenched in the work on a day-to-day basis sometimes have difficulty understanding what they look like on the outside, right? So a company, even a very successful company can be moving full steam ahead and can be making a profit, but they're dis- if they're disconnected with what their vision is or their mission is, or if that vision or mission has changed and they haven't stopped to reevaluate and reassess and modify their marketing and communication accordingly, they are missing opportunity to draw in new clients, new customers, new partners, new funders. I mean, when I talk about target segments, I also talk about your, this is not just the people who you are selling to. It's a P, anyone who you need to reach with your marketing message. And I love being, yes, the, the, the queen of reality checks, because I'm not afraid to sit there and say, well, this is what I'm hearing you say, but I'm not seeing this reflected in your marketing or vice versa. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Opportunity awaits folks that are out there watching this. Anna, thank you so much for taking time to be with us on Media Champions. And I, I hope that you will come so back welcome. and chat some more because you, you are, uh, you, you're brilliant. And I love your website, by the way, Thank folks, you. you're going to want to check out our website because it's absolutely brilliant, easy to navigate. And I know that there's so much more that you and I can chat about. So come back and chat with us again on Media Champions. I would love that. Thank you very much for the invitation. You bet. Mustard and Moxie. I just love saying that. If you want to make the connect <laughs> to Mustard and Moxie, we can do that for you. You can find us at dailyadbrief.com. We'll see you back for more Media Champions. I'm Mary Therese in Atlanta. Make it a great day. Simplify presents Addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's Addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household-level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.